module 6 work breakdown structure work breakdown structure is basically decomposition of projects into components and subcomponents so let's understand suppose there is a project having components further subcomponents and finally work packages so if the project is defined and named as project having components 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 and if you look on to this further the component 6 has a four subcomponents 6.1 6.2 6.3 and 6.4 and this component 6.2 is divided into three work packages 6.2.1 6.2.2 6.2.3 so this is basically the structure of wbs that is work breakdown structure now if you want to apply the same thing in microsoft project 2010 it's quite simple you need to just go on to this tab of add new column you can right click you can click over here and just go to w so we have a wbs once you click on it the wbs is displayed over here the zero is indicated over here because it's the project summary field if you don't require this moment we can hide this project summary task so it goes away now suppose we say that b and e are the two main components under a so now what we can do is we can select b to d portion and then from taskbar we can directly indent it towards right so on pressing this just observe what happens over here over this part so once done these all activities become a part of a can you see this similarly if we want to make f and g part of e then select them go over here and make them indent so now f and g are part of e now suppose if i want to divide c and d and make them as a part of b then again i select c and d and i indent it so you can see that one is a main that is a 1.1 is b and e comes out to be 2 so the further sequences goes in this manner 1.1 1.2 and 1.3 now suppose if i want to make c and d part of b then I would again indent it right so the sequences changes from 1.1.1 and 1.1.2 and in any case I want to bring it back you can just click over here outdent and it comes back so the work breakdown structure being very important in project management so it's always suggestible that you include the WBS as a part of one of the mandatory columns in your project management sheet so this was about getting work breakdown structure into MS project.